Hello Cancer. Welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitsha here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this is a general love reading, and I'll be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person that you are connecting with on a romantic level, what it is that they are feeling and thinking towards you currently. The deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. So some of you may have been in a relationship. This could have been in the past. It could be current. Others of you, this could be a situationship. And for a small portion of you, this could be a very strong energetic connection. There's a whole lot of energy and you can feel that there's something special, but no one's really speaking up. Mm -hmm. Because there's awkwardness. Those of you that are new, my method of reading is just slightly different. I do have the ability of channeling through my higher intuitive self to get the answers that I need. I've always done it that way, so I do not actually channel through any spirit guides. I never have. I have certain reasons for that. At the end of this reading, I do channel Archangels Michael, Raphael, Gabriel, as well as Uriel, to provide you with some advice based on what comes up today. Wow. Grumpy, grumpy. Somebody is angry. Anger and rage. So here we have surrender. Give me one second, guys. It's this way. I need to move this so it is balanced enough for you guys to see because then the rest of the reading will be a lopsided for me. Oh, there you go. Okay, good. Okay. Better. Yes. All right. We have here surrender followed by embracing the shadow, relationship, compassion, selfhood, nourishment, centering, feelings and emotions. And then we have anger and rage. Under the bottom of the deck, the overall arching theme right now, somebody is quite unhappy and angry. Doesn't have to be towards you. Could be they are angry at themselves. I'm going to express to you what it is that your person of interest is feeling towards you currently. For those of you that don't know who this person is, you don't even have anybody that's a person of interest, this reading might not resonate with you. Typically, I've seen if you are not thinking of someone in particular, then this person is somebody from your past who knows you and they have these feelings for you. So some of you may resonate. It may also be vice versa because of the uh, type of cards that have shown up here. Some of these cards are very passionate. So Cancer, you could also be feeling this as well. Okay. My dear Cancer, the connection that I have with you as time goes by, I have learned that I feel as though I belong to you and you belong to me. There's this feeling of belongingness, oneness. And a part of me has surrendered to you. My heart, my mind, my body. It has surrendered. Your wish is my command. But you don't see this because there's so much distance. You don't know this. 
A part of me has been impulsive, compulsive, and aggressive. Things don't seem right. They don't feel right. And you have seen that side of me, and it is a dark side. But I want you to embrace that side as well. Because that side of me makes up who I am. I'm nothing without that. And yes, it is upsetting and it is unfortunate that you have seen that dark side because now things are very uncomfortable between us. The environment is very uncomfortable. The environment is very awkward. How to move on? How to talk? How to do things? I do feel very different in this connection now. Because it's hard for me to talk to you the way I once did. Things are no longer the same. I am different, and you are different. The relationship that I have with you, I have often wondered what kind of a relationship we have. Many moons, many nights have gone by when I've just stayed awake, lying awake in bed, staring at the ceiling, wondering how the world is with you and how you are towards the world. I like what I see and I want to be a part of it. How is it that everyone is so close to you? And I do feel the sense of compassion now because I see things through your perspective. I have put you through certain situations and these terrible scenarios and I know what I have put you through. Now I have compassion, empathy, and sometimes even sympathy. But it shouldn't have come to this. To me, now it seems as if you have reacted to my interactions and to my actions. You are now someone who I see as distant, independent. You are thriving. You don't need anybody. And when I say you don't need anybody, that means that I feel intimidated by you. Things feel as if they are no longer the same. Everything that we work towards that I worked for. There's no use. To me, you seem so defensive and it's hard for me to approach you. A long time ago, I felt as if I knew you. I knew who you were. But there came a point and time where now I realize that you have changed and I have to adjust accordingly. A long time ago, you were that mystery that existed in my life and I unraveled it. I unwrapped it and I solved it. But now you are no longer the same. Now I still want to be with you to have that kind of interaction with you. However, now I feel that things have changed. I don't know who you are anymore. And so for me to reignite that connection, to reignite that flame, it is extremely difficult. In you I have found someone who truly is the perfect partner. 
You have this way and this ability of fulfilling me emotionally, spiritually, and physically. The feelings that I feel when I'm in this connection with you, they're very strong and they make me feel very grounded and settled. There's a part of you that is very spiritual. And now there's a part of me that I've discovered that is spiritual. You have this way of grounding me, making me feel whole again, making me understand who I really am, in tune with the earth, with the air, with the environment around me. Whereas before, it didn't mean anything. I just took, I just took it for granted. In my heart, there is a part of me, Cancer, that has a lot of feelings and emotions for you now. I have these emotions and these feelings, and these are romantic. This is affection. These feelings and emotions that I'm going through, everything seems to be very strong. When you are happy, I am happy. And when you're sad, my world is falling apart. And I don't know what to do. Right now, overall, the situation that I find myself in, the situation itself angers me. I am unhappy. There's a lack of thrill. There is rage. There is irritation and anger. Not at you, because I have feelings and emotions for you. But this rage and this anger is towards myself. How I feel in this connection. How things seem to be. Everything is quite different. Nothing turned out the way that I had thought, the way I had planned. And the changes that keep coming, I'm afraid I can't keep up. That is something that I'm finding very challenging. For now, even though I have surrendered to you, and I know that you and I could make a wonderful team, there is a problem. Things are just simply very awkward. And the environment is very uncomfortable. So communication right now is strained. All right. Cancer. Your person of interest knows who you are. They know what they had. They know what they've lost. For that reason, the overall arching theme, this individual is very irritated and annoyed, not by you, but by what the situation has become. And this is a frustration card. They are quite frustrated that things have not moved forward. They are not moving forward. There's a lack of understanding and there's a whole lot of misunderstanding because there's so much awkwardness. No one's really speaking the way that you should be speaking to each other. There's a lack of honesty here because there's just so many uncomfortable feelings. Okay. Let me know in the comments below, did any of that resonate? All right, I have here another deck. This is the, okay, interesting. This is the Lover's, Lover's Path Tarot. And with this deck, oh, interesting. I have a look at, to see the reason why 
things may have not worked out in this connection in the first place. What happened that caused the problem? So for some of you, there may have been a lack of closure. There could have been ghosting involved where the person just stopped talking to you. There could also be this communication that you used to have with them that was very frequent and now it is less frequent, very scarce. They text you maybe once a week or maybe once a month, for example, and you wonder where you stand because you know it's just breadcrumbs, right? Breadcrumbing you at this point. So this is for those of you that feel that you got yourselves into this type of a situation or this person put you into this type of a situation if it's not that you yourself have gone into this. But the environment around you is this. And because of this, this individual has not given you a reason. Why have they behaved like this? Why did they act like this? Typically people don't. But that's why I do this particular spread to see what it is that was on their mind in the past that may have caused this connection to go downhill. All right. Here we have the Four of Arrows. This talks about healing. And sorry, one sec. Before I move forward, this deck I read in the reverse. So it won't be traditionally the way that you recognize these cards. The Four of Arrows, this talks about healing, introspection, and isolation. The need and needing time to heal or rest. Peace is needed after emotional disappointment and detachment from everyday world problems to regain balance. And forcing oneself into loneliness and isolation. Needing a more detached view of problems. So, whatever happened here, Cancer and this connection, you definitely, with this card I see, you had this period of not talking to each other and to you it may have seemed as if this person doesn't care but remember you do have feelings and emotions in the first deck that's the current feelings so this individual did care however they were thoroughly confused and they felt the need to learn more about themselves they were trying to heal there was a sense of introspection isolation contemplation who am i why do I do the things that I do? How can I heal from certain things that I have done in this connection? So in this person's heart, in their mind, they were reciting these things and they were keeping their distance. Because if they were next to too many people, talking, being busy in the mind, too much loud thoughts in the mind, they would be unable to think straight. And so this is the reason why they have taken a step back. They don't talk to many people. They don't talk to you. They are different from what they were before in your life. Things have changed and you may wonder why. It's because you are that important that they wanted to think about this. And what are they healing from the temptation card? That is an absolutely important and huge card to have. I would say in, in any reading. This is the Devil card, but in this deck it has a bit more of dark kind of feelings to it. This talks about inner turmoil and obsession. Tempted by forces that one could not control. Obsession in the form of envy and having sensual desires that are uncontrollable. The need to be controlling. Currently, and what happened at that point in time when things changed, this individual wanted freedom from this temptation that they have because it was so real. Wanting to experience the envy of others and transforming this weakness into a strength. So, they wanted to transform this weakness that they had where they were always tempted 
where they were always having obsession, where they're unable to think straight. This was a problem for them. And so because it was so overwhelming for them, the temptation, the sensual desires, they knew that it was toxic at some point in time and they wanted to take a step back, which is why we have the healing card. This person, Cancer, at some point in time in this connection, I'm getting the word obsessive or obsessed. There was some type of connection between the both of you that was very sensual in a way. But for a small portion of you, it may have become toxic. And then you may have wondered, you know, is this even the right connection? Or is it all about lust? Is it all about temptation? So this individual actually has started to think beyond that. And they wanted to know more and they wanted to learn more. But in order to do that, they had to get into this almost like this hermit mode where they are taking a step back and thinking about the connection itself. Okay. Let's have a look at the beginner's tarot. So here I look into any actions, any plans, any intentions your person may have towards you. Yeah, not really wanting to talk about it here. We have the Two of Swords. Not feeling comfortable and being in denial. Wow, because of the Moon card. They really don't want to admit to their mistakes, which is kind of, it's rude, but it is, it's wrong. But it does happen. People know when they are wrong, and yet they do not want to face the facts. Very different kind of cards that just popped up here. They know who they are, they know what they want, but they know that the things that they've done are wrong, and they are in denial. That's what I'm seeing here. Here we have the Two of Swords. So this person knows that what has happened and occurred in this connection, things could have been different, they could have been better, but they were not and they are not. Right now, they've closed off their ears, their eyes, they cannot see. So they do not want, they choose this, they opt for this, they do not want to see, they do not want to hear. They have closed their heart. There's some swords here, two swords that are crossing their heart in denial, not wanting to deal with it, out of sight, out of mind type of situation. But why are they doing this? Because deep down, we have the moon card here. Deep down, this individual feels that there have been lies and betrayal in this connection. Do they want to be associated to that? No, absolutely not. But they're delusional. At some point in time, and to a certain degree, yes, they are responsible. There are things that happen here that truly ruined the connection. Do they want to be responsible for it? No, they don't. Because it makes them feel as if they're a bad person, which is also why they wanted to heal. They know that they have done certain things in this connection that are not right. They know that certain things have happened to you in this connection that are not right. Now, talking about not right, here we have the justice card. Now they want to make things right. They want to do things the right way. They want to make things right. And they feel that it is important that the both of you have an equal give and take in this relationship where it's not just one person that's giving and giving and the other's taking. They notice this now and they actually want to make an effort, which is really good. They do want to make an effort and make things right between the both of you have a better balance to have that equal give and take. We also have here the three of wands. So they do feel that they, they'll know it when they see it. They want to make a move. They want to reach out to you. They want to be with you the way that you would like to. However, they are hesitating right now because there's certain things that they're waiting for and their time has not come yet. Here, what I, what I see with this card with the three of wands is they'll know it when they see it and then they will take action. Before that, if they're not feeling it, if they're not feeling right about it, if they have that instinct that, you know what, this is not the right time, they're not going to force themselves into a situation. Instead, 
They're just going to be in this mode, which is the Two of Swords. Eventually, one day, they are waiting, and they will be waiting. And when the time comes, they will want to make things right. That is purely their intention. We do have the High Priestess card here. There's a part of this person that is very, very spiritual. They're very knowledgeable. They know where this relationship is headed. They know what this relationship is all about. But they do not talk about it. They're not talking about it. They're not sharing this information. They don't want to share the information. And just knowing that there's something different, that there's something unique in this connection, they keep it close to their heart as a secret. And usually somebody keeps it as a secret because they're afraid of what would happen if the truth was known, right? And this individual feels that if they were to speak the truth, if the truth was to come out about what this relationship is all about, what they were thinking, what their plans were, what they've done versus what they've behaved like towards you, they feel that somehow they would get the blame. And there's a little bit of ego and pride here too. They don't want, like the word denial, I was seeing that before too, they're, they're in, almost in denial that what they've done, they don't want to know what it is that they've done wrong. They know what they've done wrong, right? But they don't want somebody to point it out to them. That's what I'm seeing here. Oh boy. Um, it's a phase. This person will have to get over this type of feeling. And eventually, yes, things are going to proceed moving forward, uh, which will be much more, uh, I, I believe I see here, like peace and harmony coming through. But do I see any action in terms of this individual reaching out to you yet? Truly, honestly, I don't see it in these cards right now. Is there intention, however, to be with you wholeheartedly? Yes, there is. This person definitely wants to make things right. However, they don't want to jump into the situation because in between the Justice card and the Three of Wands, there's a whole lot of cards that would go right here in the future. And right after that too. So this person wants to make things right, but what actions are they going to take to do that? And when they do, they may reach out they're going to wait, and then they're going to make another move. However, those actions, they're not coming up yet in this spread. The main things that are here, this individual is realizing who they are and what they've done. And like we had before, um, he, the healing, having that introspection, being in that hermit mode almost, it's important for this individual to realize who they are, what they've done, so that they can be a better person going forward in this relationship with you. So I do see them having the intention of being with you. I do see them understanding and knowing what they've done is wrong. However, accepting it and trying to move on from it, trying to learn from it, trying to gain that wisdom, that may take a little bit of time. All right, just going to do a quick prayer. All right, so the end of this reading, I'm going to be adding in a bonus. And I'll be looking into four cards with this deck. I have other decks that I'll be looking into as well for you. This will be more of a spiritual bonus. So this right now is going to be advice based on the reading we just did. These messages are brought to you by Archangels Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. Okay, we have here a timeline within the next few weeks. Ask for help from others. It's up to you, so you do have a choice. This is my choice card. Within the next few months. Okay. Then we have here, listen to your intuition. Interesting. So within the next few weeks, it's important for you to be open-minded enough and have an open heart and ask for help from others and don't hesitate. Now, when you ask for help from others, understand this is, let's just say two to three people, right? We don't want to rush into things and we don't want to tell every person out there what our situation is. People can use that information against you as well. Not everybody can be trusted. 
So within the next few weeks or months, so next few weeks and months actually does fall in the same category. So both of these do indicate in the next few months, things are going to change. You're going to be talking to a few people that you really do trust, and they are going to give you some type of advice, which is going to lead to some changes. And it's going to be up to you, two parties here, Cancer, either you want to be with this person or you think it's time for you to move on. It's too stagnant. It's thick like molasses, not really moving forward, and you're stuck in it. You really do want to make a difference. Here I see that happening. So it is important to to see that in order to move forward, these things do have to happen. There has to be a change here. Um, we also have here, listen to your intuition. Now, when you ask for others for help, they're going to be giving you their opinion with their experiences, their knowledge. However, the overall arching theme here is listen to your intuition. So even if somebody does give you a certain kind of advice and you feel that inside, you know what, it just doesn't settle right with me, please do listen to your intuition. However, if you have more than two or three people saying the same thing, recognizing certain red flags that maybe you don't recognize, right? Be careful and definitely listen to them, but still do a small portion of what you think you can do in terms of connecting with this person. Um, sometimes a lot of people tell us and they show us these red flags and we are blind to them. We don't see them uh, simply because there's love involved. And the result of that usually is that we end up sometimes suffering and we learn the hard way, right? Why learn the hard way when somebody's already been there, done that? But like I said, not everybody can be trusted either. Some people are just jealous and they want to give you the wrong advice. So be careful who you trust. At the end of the day, I still would say, listen to your intuition, be very logical about it, and understand that you do have a choice in this connection. You can either stay or you can go. You can either go and then come back, right? So there's a variety of things here that you could do. However, it is important for you to get this off your chest, to talk to somebody about it, learn a few things about this connection, about the type of person that you're dealing with here. All right, what I'm going to do, I have here another set of cards. There's uh, three of them. So this is just a little bonus I'm going to be adding in for you guys. Um, I do spiritual purpose readings, but right now they are on pause. It's more of a spiritual journey slash life purpose reading. Here, right now, I'm going to be having a look at messages that are being sent from the divine to you. The divine here, meaning the archangels. Mm -hmm. Very interesting and powerful cards you just got here, the meaning of these cards. We have here gifts from God and victory. It's a very clear message. This is Archangel Oracle cards. This that I'm looking at now, these are Archangel Therapy cards. Hmm, interesting. Listen to your intuitive feelings, listen to your intuition. So there is definitely a relationship there that is not just by chance. Wow. Holy Hannah. Listen. The word right here. Listen. Listen. Three times you have this. Oh my goodness. That is so eerie. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Yeah, that hasn't happened before you've got some cards here that have very, uh, there's a lot of meaning. So the first card's the strongest. We have here gifts from God. Archangel Sandal Phone is saying, we angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. Gifts from God. And this is the source in the universe. The light of lights, the Lord of Lords. 
the one being that created all. Here we have a situation where we know everything in life that's free is truly beautiful. The best things in life are free, right? We can't buy love. No. Thank God we don't have to buy the air that we breathe. Thank goodness. But the point is, there are certain things that we get in life. And whatever you get, it can either have a price tag on it, and it might not. But if you get it and it just kind of falls metaphorically on your lap, consider an opportunity, a blessing and a gift from God. And use it and cherish it to the best of your abilities. Because it does appear here that you are going to be receiving some type of goodness from the divine and you will wonder why did this occur? Why did this come into my life? This is the reason why, because it's simply just a gift. It could be tangible. It could be something that helps you emotionally, physically, or even spiritually. Here we have victory with an exclamation mark. This is a huge card to have. Victory, Archangel and a sandal phone. Again, it's sandal phone. Okay. Is saying that your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. So many of you have been hoping and praying, wishing for something. So it does say here that have faith. Your prayers will be answered. And I do see this probably within the next few months. Many of you are going to be doing something or making some type of a decision that's going to change your life. Then we have a very interesting card called fairies. Fairies. You have a strong bond with fairies. And your life purpose involves helping Mother Nature. Now, I've never really talked about these things. But I've grown to learn that these are real. As weird as it sounds, fairies, nymphs, all this stuff. They exist on a different dimension, guys. We don't see them. But they have a function and a purpose, what we call science, they are the little people that make science happen. The science is a form of God. The science is God. However, when we discover it, we consider it all mathematical. But science and math is a part of the essence of the Creator. And when we have it sounds strange, but nymphs, fairies, um, these are little beings. Some of them are entities, but the majority of them are beings. And we relate to them. They help us. We don't know this. We don't see it. There's a rare amount of people on the planet that I know of that can actually see these things. Um, and they're small. They're very small. And here, it's just important to know. And if you see one of my videos on Asnointia Audio, my other channel on YouTube, it's absolutely free. Please feel free to have a look at all those videos that I have on Asnointia Audio. One of the videos that I have is called um, Negative Energies. So what and who is a negative energy? I'm talking about jinns, demons, evil spirits. So. In that video, you will hear that I talk a lot about other realms. This is the dimension place that we are in right now and other places that we can't see. So we are in a different realm right now. These particular beings are in a different realm. However, a part of them is also with us here. Their spiritual side is with us right now, but their physical side is on the other side in their realm. It's almost like a switch over. So right now here, we are in the 3D, but in their realm, they can see our 3D, but also our spirit. It's very deep. I will have to make a video on this later. Um, and I have a lot of experiences and stories, not regarding fairies themselves, but some of my clients that have also talked to me about it, some of 
my own experience, um, slightly directly and indirectly dealing with little things, apparently that exist. So just understand in my other video that I have the um, negative energy one, I do talk about how it's important for us to not only be at peace and harmony with our mind, body, spirit, and soul, and our surrounding aura and our surrounding environment, but all environments in all dimensions, in all realities, in all realms, because we are kind of woven together. And if one breaks, then it all starts to fall apart. So it's a very important for us to, the word love, it's universal love, to have love for ourselves, for others, for nature, for what we have, for the gifts of God that are free, that are given to us. So this is a huge thing. It's not just about fairies, but it's about appreciating nature itself and how things come together. All right, let's move on. Here we also have listen to your intuitive feelings. Very interesting because look at this you have here, listen to your intuition. Your body is receiving accurate messages from the divine. So please do listen to your intuitive feelings. Now your intuition, like I've said before, is that part of you that is your soul. Your soul exists. And then you have a separate you, which is your spirit slash body. Your spirit animates your body. And then your soul is the thing that is kind of like your book, right? It's your script. It's the programming. And then you do what you need to do in your life, right? According to what you feel. However, when we sometimes have this intuitive feeling, where is that coming from? From many of our past lives and the, the culmination and the accumulation of all of the experiences that we've ever had from many, many years, centuries. Because I do past life readings right now, they're on hold. But I've seen this happen where a person may gain some type of a characteristic, a trait, a talent, and it comes through. They may know how to read people very well, and that comes through into this lifetime too. It's a very strong instinct. So sometimes you may meet somebody and you just you just know there's something not right with this person, or you go to a place and you don't feel right. So when you have these feelings, these type of emotions, that instinct is not just from this lifetime right now. It is coming from the experiences from the past life that you have had on many levels. And doesn't have to be just on planet Earth, can be different, different areas. Very deep. So do listen to your intuitive feelings because this is you, the higher self of you that is talking to you. It's been there, done that. So don't ignore it. And once again, we have the key word listen. Once again, we have here listen. So we have listened to your intuition, listen to your intuitive feelings, and now we simply have the card called Listen. Quiet your mind, beloved one, and listen to our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of. Stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desire's manifestation. A quiet mind and body hears us quickly and clearly. This is our request to you to listen. Our minds are usually very busy. I've mentioned this in some of my other readings. Please do take 10 to 15 minutes out for yourself throughout the day. Go next to a window, sip a cup of tea, coffee, um, or just literally walk outside, have fun in the outdoors and get some fresh air. And just be with yourself, talk to yourself in your mind, you don't have to talk out loud, but think about what you want. Think about where you are. Don't worry about it, but appreciate certain things that you have. Just have that little bit of me time because that's very important. That's when you are able to listen to yourself and, you know, not on the phone, not binge watching anything. Um, but it's important to reconnect with yourself. Here we also have one of our last cards, Blessing in Disguise. What appears to be a problem is actually part of your answered prayer 
Very interesting. We just had that here, didn't we? Victory, your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. Okay, cool. So we have here what appears to be a problem is actually part of your answered prayer. You will understand the reason behind your present situation as everything resolves. Trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayer in the best way. I know it's difficult. It's easier said than done, but there's a step-by-step process. And many of you may be under the influence of negative energies. Please do have a look on my website, www.asnoincha.com. I have something called the Chakra Checkup, which I still have open. I'm taking those orders. That is to help you get rid of negative energies from your home, around your aura, and inside of your body, which are your chakra centers. If we have negative energies, it's very difficult to stay positive, to have an open and positive mindset. When we have negative energies, it brings us down. Our career, our health, our family, our love life, so many things. And negative energies do it well, that's their job. But at the very least, if you know, you know, it's like know your enemy. If you know what you're up against, then you're able to conquer that. At the very least, whatever is manifested that you're supposed to get karmically, whatever is owed to you in your book of life, you will receive that. At the very least, the things that are owed to you, they will not be blocked. Because right now it's like there's a road, there's a whole bunch of obstacles and blockages And I would just literally just say, how about for the new year? Give it a try. If you don't want to try the um, Chakra Checkup package, get the Holy Light package. And with that, the Water Wellness package, very powerful packages, those two put together, combined. They will get rid of negative energies from your home around your aura inside of your body, which is your chakra centers. And you will notice the difference in the air. Like with the grace of God, a lot of people have healed from it. They've, they've feel like they can actually feel the difference in their home. And it's amazing. People send me pictures, um, pretty cool things happen. And it's just good to see that the air around an individual is gone. And sometimes the cases are very severe. Sometimes they're not so severe, but you can either choose whichever package you want. That's some on the website. And I just wanted to mention that Um, It is important to know that because we have positive energy, yes, unfortunately, we do have negative energy around us too. So the positive may be outnumbered by the negative. You may have your spirit guides, but there may be four or five of them. And yet, eight or nine, you may have the negative energies around your positive spirit guide. So they're outnumbering them. This is called spiritual warfare. So if any of you feel that you have sleep paralysis, You have something that's like a haunting in your home, poltergeist activities, anything that's supernatural that makes you feel very uncomfortable that you really want to kind of get get rid of and and send into the light and have a good, healthy environment. Um, You can definitely get one of these packages, have a look at it, and um, it will help you. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this reading was helpful. And do let me know how your situation goes, but regarding what I just said over here, these other cards, this bonus, let me see how this um, plays out for some of you. Do, is there something to do with listening? Um, do you have enough time to listen? Do you think you need to make more time to listen to yourself? Uh, try to see if you could do that in the upcoming year. Uh, I would like to, that's, what, that's why I did this. I just wanted to give you guys that advice so that a, a routine that you have can either change or adjust to be a better version of whatever you are right now. You are right now what you are and at at your very best. However, there might be a little bit of room for improvement in terms of mind, body, spirit, and soul, right? Take care of all of those and you'll be able to take care of yourself. All right, my dear Cancer, I hope I was able to provide you with some clarity, some guidance in your situations. Um, do let me know in the comments below if any of, the, of this has resonated. And also check out my other channel on YouTube, Asnoitia Audio, which is absolutely free. I have videos on 
spiritual connections there, as well as relationship related videos. And also I have the most recent one, which is about negative energies, what and who they are, how to deal with them. All right, you all take care, stay safe. Happy holidays.